So this is our mash louder tun. This is where we take our fault barley and we mix it with water. What happens when we mix it with water is there's a chemical reaction between the starches and enzymes and that produces uh, simple sugar, which we use later on in brewing. So we're taking the liquid from the bottom, we're separating it from our malt or grist and pumping it over to our brew kettle. Once we get all of our wort in the brew kettle, we'll bring it to a boil and we'll start hopping it up. The hops at the beginning of the boil contribute all the bitterness in the beer. And the hops at the end of the boil contribute more to the aromatics and the nose on the beer and the hoppy flavors. Uh, once we're done boiling, we'll go into these tanks behind us. These are the fermenters. We'll pitch our yeast in these tanks. Basically what happens is the yeast goes to work, it starts metabolizing all the sugar and converts it into two byproducts, one being ethyl alcohol and the other one's a carbon dioxide. So once the fermentation's done, and again, depending on the style of beer, it could be anywhere from about 13 days to a month in the fermenter. Um, we'll put, pump all of our beer into a bright beer tank uh, and we'll condition it. So we'll basically let it carbonate, add more carbon dioxide to it as we need it, and it'll brighten up so it'll clear up in here. Uh, once it's done in here, which is about three, four days, depending again on the style of beer, um, we'll go from here to kegs.